teaching is an art form. And in my opinion, for piano teaching, I think you don't teach what is art. You teach how to create art. teach your students how to, or you inspire your students how to solve their own solution, uh, solve their own problems by following your suggestions. But you don't inspire them to follow your suggestions exactly. This is for singing. To teach the students learn without my help and uh, they can finally be independent from me and they learn stuff all by themselves. That's my ultimate goal for teaching. Uh, I chose this Mozart piece because uh, first of all it is very uh, popular and maybe one of the most familiar piano sonatas of his repertoire. And In this piece, there are a lot of technical stuffs and musical stuffs. Uh, for technical stuffs, for example, we have a lot of scales. We have the arpeggio bass in the left hand. We have chords. We have a broken arpeggio in the left hand. And okay, so it's the connection between the top one and the bottom one. So try this from the top. Here we go, now try the normal way. Much better. Now add your right hand. Good. Right hand more characters. Mozart wrote these piano sonatas with a lot of dance topics. We have singing dance, we have a very uh, violent dance, we have uh, like marching stuff, and th these are all different characters in this piece. He has a lot of dance, so there's dance in the music, this is very lyrical. This is like a singing, singing dance, and, and then we have Right? This is more like a for agitated. So that's how you express the different things. Try that. Try that. Just use your imagination. Use your imagination. Think about dancing with people and then how do you do it? Just try that one more time. Uh -huh. Last time. So that's the basic idea of this opening sections, and it can apply to the whole piece.